Happy Monday, everyone. Welcome back to another edition of the Morning Edge, episode 146, Dead Price Picks with Slop Rules. Monday night football, uh, super fired up. Heck of a time to be a sports better. NFL coming or NBA coming back, NHL coming mm-hmm. back, college football, NFL. We got a little bit of everything. But before today's picks, John, we got tagged last night on Twitter. Someone wants us to talk about the T. Higgins gate, okay? Ooh, so, T. Higgins yeah. gate, I remember that. It's the gate. Yesterday. You, why don't you dive into it first and, and just explain to the viewers what, what it is? I don't know what that guy was talking about, though. What did he say? Well, I think so. I think he bet like T. Higgins over, right? Okay. And apparently, he was on a snap count, but that didn't get released until the second drive of the game. So, like, yeah. nobody knew. Like, it would be like tonight if. It would have been a good under. Well, you could have had the under. That would have been a great but, but good you know, bet. But you know people with props are betting overs. Not a lot of people bet. Oh, so, well, no, I, I agree with that totally. I always bet the over. But I'm just saying yeah. if you knew the guy was going to be on snap count, then just take the under. But no, 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 no. That's remember the thing. Remember green that night? Remember that? <laughs> well, no. Remember yeah. when he came on the court, they tipped off, and then when sat did down? That void? Did that void? Did, like, no, if you had, no, no, no. Like, uh, people it. got rich off the under. Like they yeah, were they, like they like, parlayed the under assist points rebounds everything smart. like for a same game parlay and got paid. But that's the thing nobody knew about Higgins until during the game, so that's why people are upset. It was well somebody. Somebody. Knew. somebody, somebody, somebody knew. I don't know. I'll be honest with you, man. I don't really believe at all in voiding anything ever. Yeah, I agree. Like, but the guy I used to go through back in the day, Fat Tony, he would never. <laughs> Ever void anything like there was times he would grade your wins as losses. You know what yeah, I mean? You had to watch that Tony man. Like he was big, but he was sneaky. Yeah, you know what I mean, like yeah, you don't see a lot of big guys being that sneaky, but he was very sneaky. He, he never avoided anything though. And I'll be honest with you, he was the best guy I ever went through. So yeah. I'm just saying. I I mean, if if I had the over, I'd be pissed. But at the same time, I would just stop it's part being of the today and just start being awesome again. You know what I mean? Just yeah. pick a winner today, and you'll be fine. Yeah, I saw they did it for uh, Naheem Hines. Like a lot of books did that. Yeah. I don't love the void process myself either. I think when you bet props, especially, you know there's some risk. And I think the books add that like to the lines. Like, hey, this guy could get hurt. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. there could be there's there, there, there's injury stuff. So I, I don't know. I think I think it's a little soft to void. I do. I, I'm not yeah, a big when they did that, I was like, man, I mean that's I mean that's nice and all, you know, you're putting money back in people's accounts. Well, like, at the same time, like, dude, these this happens a lot. Like now, everyone's gonna every single time someone gets hurt, they're like, "Oh, are they gonna avoid that?" I always make jokes like, "Oh, like remember when Tua went out with the concussion?" I was like, "Ah, oh, they should avoid all the receivers' bets." Right. Just because they were my bets, you know. Yeah. What I, mean? I really think they should do it. I'm just saying, like, give me my money back, like if you want to, but like I don't expect you to. Exactly. Yeah, I don't. Love if you want to give me my money back? You can sports books. I'm just saying, I don't expect you to. Exactly. I mean, you're gambling, right? Like you don't know. Is that is that an alcoholic drink? No, it's a Celsius. Oh. I, um, I need a little energy, man. Like I, I, okay. I think I might have had a couple too many beers yesterday. Long weekend. Maybe. Maybe. I was going to ask you if it was an early Monday night football, you know, drinking day. But no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the kids' soccer practice and all that, right? And I'm just going to come. I'm literally going to lay on the couch from like 7:30 on. Do you know what I mean? Like, like it's going it's going to be an awesome Monday night. I got to <laughs> get the list of teams that can win the Super Bowl. Down. I now, will, will my Eagles be on that, or are they still on the outside I'm looking? I'm still at looking. I'm still looking. Okay. I mean, I'm going through my power rankings and the algorithm. Well, the the it's very tricky. Very you're gonna have a lot. Of, you're gonna have a lot of Giants fans and Cowboys fans too. No, I mean, I was looking at the Cowboys. Maybe uh, the Giants. That's come on. Guys. <laughs> yeah, it's a joke. Maybe, maybe, well, maybe. Well, we, we won't. We won't ruin it for the people. We'll, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I gotta see the Chiefs tonight on their first yeah. drive or two. Because well, you know, your first drive in week five goes a long way in determining whether you can win the Super Bowl. Like everyone knows that. That, that. that is true. All right, well, let's get to our picks now. So the, the T. Higgins gate's done. Uh, John, if you want to kick us off, you got a receiver prop, I got a quarterback prop, and then we'll we'll close it out. But what are we looking at? All right, hang on. Let me, let me get in character. No, I think I figured out gambling this week, uh, definitely. Because of, did you see what I did yesterday with the prop? I mean, it was just, it was amazing. Yeah, it was a lot of pass catchers. So that's where I'm going with this. A lot of pass catchers. I feel like I figured out the whole pass catching game. And it's Devontae Adams plus 200. Or I'm sorry, 100 plus receiving yards at plus 200. 
I'll be honest with you. I think that the Chiefs are going to curb stomp the Raiders tonight. I think they're going to score all over them. I mean, the, you saw the Broncos put up 20 something points on the Raiders last night. That's crazy. That's like 55 points for the Chiefs, like on the conversion chart. Well, yeah, you punch it in the calculator. Yep. Yep. So once you look at the conversion chart, you know that the Chiefs are going to score all over them. The Chiefs are the number one offense in the NFL on uh, points per game. You know, so. I just feel like the Raiders are going to be chasing points all night, and they've seen what can happen whenever they don't target Devontae Adams. Last week he went, I think, nine for 101. They won. Uh, week one, what did he – he had like 140. Did they win that game? No, they lost, but it was no, cool. No, they, they, they lose a lot. Yep, yep, they've only won one game, so I know they definitely didn't win if they won the last one. Yeah. Uh, anyways, the Chiefs have given up some big games. They gave up uh, 100-plus to Mike Evans. Uh, 100 plus to Mike Williams, uh, 72 to Michael Pittman. So, I mean, that's pretty much 100 yards for if you had like a real NFL quarterback throwing the ball to you. I think Derek Carr's pretty good. So, yeah. like, he's better than Matt Ryan. Like, he's like 75%. Like, I'm better than Matt Ryan. 75% of Derek Carr. So, that's close to 100 if you convert that. You know, a lot of math, a lot of math out here in this. A lot, game. a little too much for a Monday. But, anyways. I just feel like this is another 100-plus game for a big receiver. Uh, Matt Collins kind of scares me because he's big. Like, he's bigger than than uh, uh, Adams. Adams only 6'1". Did you know that? I, I did not. I, I, thought, I thought he was much bigger. But was, uh, it's usually the big guys, I'm saying, that are giving the problems to the Chiefs. Hey, like they hey, got hey. a corner that's like 5'7", yeah. so that's an issue. But I don't think it's going to matter. I think it's uh, Devontae Adams, probably Darren Waller, and I, Hunter Renfro could even eat and – Still, now, yeah, they get him back. Tonight. I just think, like, and also too, the Chiefs are actually good against the run now. Yeah, it's even crazier because yeah. now it's just like it. You have to throw literally the whole time because you can't run or you're getting your ass kicked. So yeah. either way, you're throwing the ball. Well, that that kind of goes into my play a little. You kind of made a point there. So I'm going to Derek Carter over two seventy two and a half. But Kansas City's number one in the NFL against the run now. It's a little skewed because. I think the Bucks, when they played them, had like negative rushing yards. I could be. Yeah. I know. And, did. and uh, the Bucks were losing like immediately. Then yeah, they, like, so, like, I don't think the Chiefs the like, like, the it was, They were already getting like stomped like way yeah. fast. You know what I mean? To where it's now, all right. Well, game script is definitely saying exactly. we got to throw. So you have to throw. yeah. But that, but that happens a lot against Kansas City. So I, I think that could happen again tonight. I, I, I believe the Raiders play a lot of this game from behind. Uh, so it kind of sets up again for a negative game script. Cincinnati or Kansas City, sorry, I'm still thinking of the, the Bengals. Kansas City is 27th in the NFL against the pass. So not very good against the pass, really good against the run, negative game script. I think all those things play in here. Uh, and I, li- I like Carr to go over 272 and a half. It's, I think he's going to sit back and throw the ball a bunch of times. We're not asking a ton out of him, right? I mean, he could he, he's gotten this two of the three games. The one game he didn't was that Denver game, which was just kind of like fluky. Like that was yeah, weird. But the the reason he didn't get there was Josh Jacobs went for like a buck well, forty. Yeah, they were winning. So they were like they were trying to believe they were, they were so oh, shocked that they were winning that they were trying to run the clock out. I mean, you know? 144 yards, those yards should be given to Carr. At least 120 of them. So what would that have done? If yeah, you yeah, yeah that that yard, would that put him uh, over 300? Yeah, he would. Yes, it would. Yeah, it would have so, I mean, it would have over so, yeah, I, again, I, Matt just rearing its ugly head. Exactly. I, I think I think we'll get there tonight. And, and you know what? He could throw a hundred of these to Devontae and we'll have a sweep. So we advise throwing in a little parlay if you can, you know, on Devontae's over and Carter. I might take all the Raiders just to go over. I mean, mm-hmm. you have to. You know what I mean? Well, I look at all of them. Those yeah. lotto tickets you see on Twitter all the time. Yeah. This would be again. See, those aren't that dumb. What they're doing is just betting on a particular game script. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so yeah. you're yeah. just saying yeah. we're going to throw the ball all over Chiefs tonight and take, you know, three guys plus the quarterback. That could all happen. Yes. It's not that crazy. I mean, I mean, if you look at the the lines, the yardage numbers aren't very high for anybody. I think Adam's real number is standard lines like 78, 79. Yeah. So he That's should be crazy. Yeah. All right, guys. But that that, drive. Yeah, exactly. There's 100 yards in the football field. So if they – Math. Yeah. They, well, he can get 99. Right? Well, I guess he can do 100. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll find out as the uh, as the game goes on. But me and John will be back tomorrow even though – oh, well, we got playoff baseball. My Phillies play at 1 o'clock. So we'll, we'll get into maybe some baseball or some – There might be a strikeout oh. watch list. See? But there probably won't be. Get excited for that. We'll uh, – 
<laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day.